What's up guys? These are the brand new Full Aim X5 True Wireless Microphones for your camera. Full Aim were kind enough to send me this unit and I'm going to go ahead and test how great they sound. So let's go ahead and start off by unboxing this, running through the design, the features and the specs and let's get straight into it. So right here at the top, you have yourself the user manual, information in multiple different languages. Very quick and easy to get up and running, but this is essentially just plug and play. You then have the main unit here. Now I will go ahead and talk about the design of this in a second, but let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the box. So you have a TRX to TRX cable for your camera. USB-C charging cable for the unit. You get two adapters. One is a USB-C to USB-C and the other one is a USB-C to lightning port adapter. These two are quite important as well. One of these will allow you to connect this to an Android, one to an iPhone, but the USB-C one will also allow you to transfer the inbuilt audio recordings from one of the transmitters directly to your laptop. And I will showcase that in this video. Then you've got a couple of wind protection muffs as well. So when you do film outdoors, this would isolate a lot of the windy noise. So now let's dive in a little bit more about the design of the microphones. Okay, so let's open up this unit. You can see this will give you a battery indicator just at the bottom on the front of the charging box. You can see the two transmitters are blinking red because they are actually charging. You can also check out the battery life on the TFT display on the receiver. Before I go ahead and take these out, You'll notice at the back inside the lid, you have two LED lights that are just there. You don't actually see them light up, but what this is, is when you do close the charging case, this actually has inbuilt UV disinfection. So these are UV disinfecting lights that actually allow you to keep your transmitter and receiver very clean, especially when you do film outdoors, when it's very dusty and it could get dirty or when you've recorded for a long period of time and you've breathed onto these and you wanted to share this maybe with someone else, you can be pretty much sure it's gonna be very clean when you do put this back in the box and take it out again the next time. So let's take out one of the transmitters and the receiver. So we'll start off with the receiver. It's a very nice clean display and I'm a big fan of wireless microphone kits that do have a digital display just so that I can see what setting it's on, how much battery life it is, is it connected, is it paired and various other pieces of important information. So you can see on the top left there you've got the battery life and you've got the signal to show that it is paired. Then you also have the waveform just there in the middle of the bar to see how loud your audio actually is. The decibel levels, you can go up to five different levels, up to the maximum. And then you also have the different type of mode displayed on the bottom right. There are three different modes, but before I change them, let's just have a look at the rest of the receiver. On the left, you have the headphone monitoring port, the power button, and the set button. You have yourself the belt clip at the bottom, which is also a cold shoe mount. And on the right hand side, you have yourself the USB-C port and also the out port for the camera cable. So let's go ahead and press the set button once. You'll notice that the decibel levels will increase. So you can cycle between the different levels by just pressing the set button very easily. So now let's change the mode. So right now it's on mono. If you hold down the set button for a few seconds, it's now gone to stereo mode. If you hold it down again, this has gone into a mode called MS. Now MS is basically safety mode. And what that does is it will divide the sound that you record into two tracks, the left and the right. And the right audio that is recorded will be six decibels lower than the audio from the left channel, just so that you have two different audio output options to work with in case that's something you might need to have. So let's go back to mono and I will record in mono and stereo just so you guys can hear the differences. Now looking at the transmitter, you have a couple of LED lights here that are going to showcase different things depending on the color or the blinking variations of them. Just on the left hand side, you also have a set button and a power button. And on the other side, there is also a USB-C port. And this is what is going to connect this to your laptop with the USB-C adapter that I showed you in the unboxing. Now on the belt clip on the back, you'll notice there's a tiny little attachment. This is a very strong magnet as you can see, 
And what I'm going to showcase is how to actually put this onto your shirt when you want to reposition the transmitter using the magnet rather than the belt clip because this is a very nice thing that I haven't come across in any other wireless mic to be honest. And I think, you know, this is going to make it so much easier to get clearer audio when I do my filming. So I will showcase this in a second. Now, when you do press the set button on here, just once, you'll notice that the second blue light is now appeared. This will go into noise reduction mode. So if you're maybe outdoors and it's a very windy day and maybe there's a lot of background noise from a busy road, for example, this will start to do background noise isolation. And I think that's very key as well, especially if you are going to be using this outdoors. I wouldn't use this so much indoors because this will alter your voice naturally. So that's very quick and easy to see if noise reduction mode is actually set to on. And just press it again to turn it off. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the inbuilt audio recording that's inside the transmitter. This has a four gigabyte internal memory. So if you didn't want to connect the receiver to any camera or phone, for example, some situations I really need this is when I do recordings using a gimbal using my phone because there's no very convenient way to put a wireless microphone receiver on top of a gimbal and I want to maybe get the best audio by just having an inbuilt audio recorder somehow. This set can actually do that. So to start using the inbuilt recording and I can do that now without any cables attached on the transmitter I will hold down the set button and you can see on the transmitter there is a red blinking light and on the receiver you'll notice just above that Wi-Fi signal you can see a recording text in red and that just shows you that is now using the internal audio recorder on the transmitter so if I speak into this this is now a test and you can see the waveform just there in the middle I've got the transmitter closer to my mouth and, and now I'm recording this as a test audio so that I can transfer this directly to my laptop and my MacBook Pro using the USB-C adapter. You can also use one of your own USB-C to USB-C cables if you find that a little bit easier. So this is a very quick and convenient way to get audio recordings without having the need to attach this to any camera or phone. And then when you're ready to stop the internal recording, hold down the set button and then the recording symbol will disappear from the TFT display and the red light will stop flashing. Very convenient way to have yourself a different set of options when you do need to record. So that's everything I wanted to show on the microphones. Let's go ahead and charge these for a little bit and then let's test out the audio. Okay, now that these have charged up, let's talk about the battery life a little bit. The unit itself, the charging case, has up to 18 hours of battery life. Each of the transmitters and the receiver host a total battery life of 6 hours and with the charging case it can charge it an additional 2 times giving you an overall 18 hours of battery life. And that 18 hours in total is more than enough to get a lot of filming done over a set of days so that's very convenient to have a very long battery life in there. And one of the other features of this is that this allows you to have a transmission range of up to 200 meters. So if you are going to do very long distance shooting, then this is going to be very good for you as well. Not only that, but this has 48 kilohertz and 24 bit audio compression inbuilt into the audio recordings. They are saved as .wav files, so they are very high quality and we are going to test that out very shortly. And lastly, let's test out the magnetic clip with the attachment. So there's three different ways that I would generally set up a transmitter to my shirt, which sometimes, you know, they do work, but it's not the most convenient way to get the best audio. And I've noticed that when I do my recordings, the first way and the most common way is if you wear a shirt like this with buttons, you would clip it on like this. Now the microphone you can see is kind of facing sideways. So you don't get the most clear audio because it's not like a 360 type of microphone where any direction it will pick it up. You'll hear it when you do transfer this for post-production editing that it is very light and it's not super clear as if I'm holding it in front of my mouth. The second way is you can put it right at the top of your shirt, something like this, even if you don't have a button to shirt. Now what this does is it blocks some of the audio because the voice coming from my mouth is coming out like this and this gets blocked kind of like from my chin so it is a little bit distorted and it's not super clear. The third way I sometimes will do it is just pinch a part of my shirt and I'll try and aim it upward somehow. Even if I pinch this way, you can see it's, it's not the most comfortable and it's kind of like 
a workaround to aim it properly. That's where this magnet really comes into play. Because it is quite strong, you put the magnet behind your shirt, wherever you find convenient, and then you just clip this directly over that, and it will hold. So there, you can pretty much place it wherever you like, across your chest, and have it aimed directly to your mouth. And this is how I'm going to do my recordings so you guys can hear a comparison. Now, hopefully you can watch this video with some headphones to get the best audio experience to understand how clear this is. Up until now, I've been shooting it with my shotgun microphone just here, and I'm going to be switching over to test out the audio. So let's go ahead and see how these sound, and I'll set this up with my camera. This also works very well with my iPhone using the adapter, so you can use that very easily, but the audio will be the same. And let's go ahead and make that switch. Okay, the audio that you are now hearing is coming directly from the X5 microphone. I've set it to the volume gain number four. Number five is the maximum. I think four is quite a good point when I'm filming indoors, just to compensate for the distance of the microphone from my mouth. I've had a playback of this, and you know I found that this sounds very good. I think it's you know one of my favorite microphones to be honest up until now it has all of the features that I could potentially ask for this magnetic clip for me is you know very unique and I find it so much more convenient because having to decide what type of shirt to wear to make sure the microphone is going to be positioned correctly to get the best audio this eliminates that need so I'm quite happy on that front now this is currently shooting in mono audio but I also want to shoot in stereo audio because that will also give you an example of how it shoots between the left and right channels. And I will pull out the other TX so that you guys can see that comparison. So let's go ahead and test that out. Okay, so I have both microphones now ready to go and I've set this to stereo mode, still on decibel four. You can see how clear this sounds, but this is on one of the channels, the left channel. Now this is on the right channel and you can see it differentiates between both of the channels when you are listening to this with headphones. If you bring them both closer together, you can really see the stereo audio output. It gives it kind of more of a clearer monotype feel, but more of a surround sound setup. I think, you know, this is very good, especially if you are going to do interviews with two people and you wanted to distribute the different channels with these two transmitters, then that's going to be very convenient. You know, I find that stereo mode is very good because it's much more clearer audio than mono, but if you just use one of these, in post editing with softwares like Final Cut Pro, you can switch that stereo mode to automatically convert to dual mono mode, and you will maintain that clarity in the audio, even though it will make slight adjustments. So if stereo mode is something that you do like to shoot in, then this is going to be a very good option for you. Now that I've shown you mono and stereo mode, I also want to show you a showcase of using the noise reduction mode outdoors. So let's go ahead, head outside, and see how that sounds with very windy and noisy conditions in my background. I'll also use the wind muff on one of the transmitters as well. And I'll show you comparison without the wind muff and without the noise reduction and with both of them on as well, just to see how much of a difference that makes. So let's go ahead and test that now. Okay guys, so now I'm outdoors. It is pretty windy today. You can see it's very cloudy. I have quite a busy road behind me. I've got the volume gain still set to number four. So it's not at the maximum. I don't have the wind sleeve on and noise reduction mode is not on. So what I'm going to do now is to put the wind sleeve on, turn on noise reduction, and hopefully you guys can hear a comparison between how it sounds now and how it's going to sound next. And now this is with the noise reduction mode set to on, wind sleeve is on. Can you guys hear the difference and is the audio a lot clearer now? So for me, I've played this back and I've found that, you know, this is a very useful feature to have, especially if you are going to film outdoors. Every time I do film indoors, I try to avoid using noise reduction because it is very quiet anyway. But you can see this really helps if you do a lot of outdoor shooting. So I'm quite impressed with that. And as with all the wireless microphones that I've used in the past, especially when I'm filming outdoors, I always do recommend that you use the wind sleeve, even if it's not that windy outside. I think it's just a great thing to have to make your voice a little bit more clearer. So now let's head back indoors and we'll go ahead and showcase how to transfer the internal audio recordings from the transmitter to my MacBook. Okay, so I also wanted to show you now if I wanted to transfer the internal audio recordings from my transmitter, all I need to do is connect this little USB-C adapter 
to this and then connect this to my MacBook Pro but also I also want to showcase that if you have your own USB-C to USB-C cable if you find it a little bit more convenient so let's collect this one if you hook that up you'll see that the red light will start flashing and then in your finder window on your MacBook or your laptop you can see this pops up as like a external USB flash drive this one comes up as no name if you click that you can see the wave audio recording is right there in the root folder of your USB drive so that is very convenient to then just transfer over now this has four gigabytes worth of space in the internal audio recording so you can use this as a backup so whilst you are actually recording your filming using a TRX cable for example directly to your camera or your phone you can also set the backup recording to happen at the exact same time just in case there were any interruptions with your camera the audio recording will still be there and you can be more confident that you got every single piece of audio that you needed for your filming and that's it guys I'm back to now recording again to wrap up this video with the transmitter connected to my shirt this comes in at £149. Check out the latest pricing information in case they do have any discounts or coupons running at any time. Link is in the description. Do check out their website as well for the full list of specifications. If you are interested in this, make sure to like this video if you like the sound of this audio and how convenient this looks and all of the features that are packed with this. I'm super happy. This is going to be my main microphone that I'm gonna use especially with the indoor audio recording feature that's going to be very convenient for me when I am shooting with gimbals and if you did have any other questions always drop a comment down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can make sure to subscribe I have new tech reviews out every week and I'm sure you're going to like them there's a playlist of all of my previous wireless microphone reviews down below in the description as well if you also want to check out other wireless microphones otherwise I will catch you guys at the next video take care